in a minute you could be changing the, the your structure the idea of of, of, of the, the, the strategy for that game and in the same minute the opponent even if it was a manager from a small team he was adapting to you so it was like a, a continuous fighting in the tactical point of view i think it's the most difficult country uh, coaches are very well prepared player they have a great uh, mentality for that uh, teams are very very well organized every match is uh, is really difficult. There would be no better test of Mourinho's tactical genius, however, than a particular Italian-Spanish clash in the 2010 Champions League semi-finals. When we played the semi-final against Barcelona and we played at home the first match and we had a meeting, of course, you know, if you play against Barcelona, it would be very difficult. But after the meeting, I was quite sure that we could beat Barcelona and, and we did it. Mourinho and his team delivered a tactical masterclass to nullify the Catalans. They eventually won 3-1 with goals from Schneider, Maicon and Melito. The second leg saw Inter reduced to 10 men. But Barcelona's 1-0 win was not enough. Inter were through to the final. It was a triumph for Mourinho, and he knew it. The Champions League final would see Inter meet German giants Bayern Munich. Mourinho's team dominated from the start. A goal in each half from Diego Melito secured victory and an historic treble for the Italians. They've already won the Italian League and Cup. Inter captain Javier Zanetti lifted the famous trophy. Mourinho is a great coach and so thorough with details. He prepares for games like nobody else. There's no one like, uh, like Jossi. With, with all the respect for the other coaches, but I had an amazing year. It was a great experience for me. And again, uh, the same way with Chelsea, it was tough, but highly motivated to try to be champion with a team that was never champion. Uh, tried the same thing with Inter, was not succeeding in, in Europe also for about 50 years. After his problems with Roman Abramovich at Chelsea, Mourinho seemed to have no such difficulties with the president of Inter, Massimo Moratti, who put Inter's first European Cup since 1965 down to one man. Fantastic trainer. He's, he works a lot, he's intelligent, and uh, he surprised uh, people sometimes with his uh, ideas. He's a communicator, he's a motivator. Not easy to find one person of this uh, qualities. The Mourinho managerial package had delivered five trophies in two years. He'd proved himself in Italy. Try to do it with Inter was also pressure because the club was almost demanding that, the supporters were almost demanding that. But at the same time, great experience. The reason why we won is because we, we have uh, also awesome men like this in, uh, in the group. It was arguably the greatest success of Jose Mourinho's career. But even on that night of triumph in Madrid, his mind was elsewhere, thinking of his next step. An outlook familiar to many. I think he looks forward. I think you can see that in his demeanour at certain times when he's won big tournaments. You can see his face. It's kind of he's not caught up in the moment completely. He's he's got an eye on probably the future and what's going on next. And uh, he was always like that. You can have one eye on the future, but moving on is not always easy. People are left behind, and Mourinho was never one to hide his emotions when it came to saying his goodbyes. He can be very emotional when he takes uh, the responsibility of a team in a club. The way he's involved with all the process represents his emotional, his emotional side. It was a sentiment shared by many of his players at all his clubs. I would say the most emotional moment I've had in football because um, I didn't quite see it coming and he'd been so huge for me personally um, and I'm sure a lot of players will tell you the same. There was this 
best thing, I think, that he had a great connection with all the players. And that's why we, we, we won a lot of prizes. I've never actually got too attached to anything emotionally in, in those terms because football you always understand that it moves on, players, managers move on, players move on. Uh, but with Mourinho I'll never forget the moment of sitting in the dressing room and seeing him go. Just try to be honest with them, fair with them and be together all the time. Good moments, bad moments, try to be together all the time is something that happened naturally. In May 2010, Mourinho moved to the Santiago Bernabeu and Real Madrid. He was immediately faced with one of his biggest challenges, overcoming Pep Guardiola's mighty Barcelona. In Mourinho's first season, Barca beat Real to La Liga and knocked them out of the Champions League on their way to winning the trophy. Mourinho will not stop until he succeeded in Spain, as he did in Portugal, England and Italy. Then, perhaps, he will finally settle. It's a personal ambition. After the last experience, if I can call it uh, Madrid and Spain, I can be in a great position to say, this is what I want, this is where I want to be. He's been a top-level coach for barely a decade, but no other manager has achieved so much so quickly. In 2011, he added the Spanish Cup to his glittering achievements. It remains to be seen how Jose Mourinho will deal with a period of failure, but perhaps that will never happen. I don't think failure is a, a word in his dictionary, so it's a word that he doesn't know. But what he's got is a certain magic, and that's what makes him different, and that's what puts him up there with the Fergusons, the Shankleys, and whoever the manager you want to go for in time. He's an amazing coach. He's a huge coach, a huge person as well. I think he, he he's the best coach in the world. I think uh, experience after experience, I'm growing up a lot and to be successful in, in all of these countries. I'm happy with this. Until one day I, I'm, I go back to England because he's the one where I was uh, the happiest manager in the world. But until I go to stay, this, um, this way around uh, the, the, the football of Europe makes me feel very, very rich.